This is a true story of what happened at the time. I was in a dark place, feeling alone and addicted to alcohol and drugs. On a Sunday morning, she came to the church to confess. I cannot reveal the true nature of the conversation, but I was too drunk to pay any attention to what she was saying. All I remember was being mesmerized by her beauty. I started to fantasize about her. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 10 years ago, I was raped. Two months later, I found out I was pregnant. So hear that. Did you ever find out who did such thing to you? No. It happened outside this very church, in the graveyard. Are you here to confess the fact that you've been raped? You have not seen at all. I'm here for something else. <laughs> Do not be afraid to confess in the house of God. Forgive me, Father, for what I'm about to say. You're in a safe place. God is listening to your prayers. I ended a life by aborting the child. Was the child you aborted after you raped? Yes, Father. I was newly wed to my husband, and I didn't want to bring a child that didn't belong to him into our lives. Abortion is a sin. I have no power to leave the sin from your conscience. Forgive me, Father. I know every child needs love, a chance. A soul is pure, but this child, this child would never have been loved by a family. And your husband? What's that got to do with anything? I am sorry for my sins with all my heart, but at that time, I was the victim. Was God in the pursuit of sanctity in Christ been the goal of my life? Have I denied my faith? Have I placed my trust in false teachings or substitutes for God? Did I despair of God's mercy? A woman aged 28 was found dead in St. Andrew's Cathedral yesterday. It was reported she was found dead holding a baby. Her death is currently under investigation and will take place in the early hours of tomorrow. Monica, come to me, your skin, your voice, so...
Father Augustus. Are you busy? No, not at all. Come in. I was just making dinner. Oh, so this is a bad time? No, have a seat. So where's Daniel? Oh, he's visiting his mother. She's ill. What brings you here, father? I'm here because what happened earlier. God sent me here tonight. He wants to forgive you. Do you feel close to God? I do. I, I used to, but... Do you feel that God betrayed you? It wasn't God that betrayed me, Father. It was humanity. That's why I lost my faith. I can restore your faith. I'm the messenger of God. But are you the messenger of the people? <laughs> I'm the one who's closer to God. I too sin. God forgives. He will forgive you too, I promise. What's wrong? Father, you've been here for quite some time now and I haven't offered you a drink. <laughs> Would you like something? At this hour, I like to drink bourbon to relax. Oh, my husband should have some. I'll be right back. In the name of Christ, have you just done? Lies, all lies. You lied. You did this to me. You made me suffer. And who will believe you? You honestly think that a shameful woman like you, who aborted a child, would be seen as innocent? The blame is on you. Me? Because I didn't tell you. God sent me here to forgive you and let you know that our child is still alive. What do you mean? I died when I gave birth to Caleb. God wanted to see if you would change. Change? Our child needs you. Find him. By the end of our conversation, I remembered I was shocked when she told me that she was an angel and God had sent her. She knew all this time that I was the one who raped her. She was telling me the truth. When I die and go to heaven, how will I look into the Lord's eye? He knows me very well. I will prove to Monica that I have changed. I will change. I have to. I have a son now, but at least I have her forgiveness too. You're probably thinking, he won't get into heaven. I know I am because I stayed true to my faith. Sure, I've sinned. I mean, who hasn't? I used to beg to my grandmother, please take me to church. I felt safe there. I felt home. All my questions were answered. All my wrongdoings were cleansed. Take me to church. I 